all the snack chips, the flavored potato chips, the flavored popcorn. Why do you think they taste so amazing? The canned soups, bullion cubes. Try to find a bullion cube that doesn't have MSG. Processed meat, hamburgers, deli meat. Virtually all fast foods have a lot of hidden MSG. So it might be a good idea to start asking, do you add MSG to your food? All the flavored seasoning mixes have MSG, the salad dressings, the frozen dinners, which are the TV dinners, which I used to live on, the savory snacks, the gravy, and especially the appetizers that you get at restaurants. Also, you have the flavored crackers, canned vegetables even have it. So remember, there's many mechanisms here. It's not just overeating. That MSG has a potential to mess with your hypothalamus to slow down your metabolism because it alters the feeding centers of the body, creating damage within the hypothalamus. But of course, just in rat studies, there's no studies to show that this is happening in humans, according to Wikipedia. And of course, I've talked about obesity, but a lot of people are sensitive to this glutamate because of what it does to the brain. It overexcites the brain. They get headaches. They get allergy symptoms. They get irritable. They have sleeping problems. They might get dizzy. So it would be interesting for you just to avoid any of these processed foods for a couple of weeks, just to see how many problems would actually go away. But I just want to make also another point about even in certain proteins, protein bars, they'll use either a soy protein isolates or sometimes they'll use milk protein as a sodium caseinate. Well, guess what? You're going to get a lot of free glutamate in both of them. And some of the symptoms that occur from free glutamate is not right away. 